what's up guys today i'm going to go through how to create this wheel spin effect so here's my raw video clip a nice shot which pulls out from the wheel i'll leave this video clip down below if you want to download it and follow along with the edit there's a couple of ways to do this i'm going to try it without any plugins so the first thing i'm going to do is stabilize the video clip over here we just click stabilization and then once that's done i'm going to right click and go to new compound clip i put it in a compound clip so that the stabilization is locked in and it won't change when we shorten or lengthen the video clip. I'm going to go to around about here where I want the wheel spin effect to happen. And I'm going to copy and paste the video clip by holding down option and clicking and dragging the video clip up. And then right here, I'm going to press shift and H. This will create this freeze frame. And I'm going to extend the freeze frame to the end of the video clip and just cut it at the start and the beginning. And then I'm going to go to my effects tab over here. And I'm going to go to the mask and keying and just add a shape mask onto this freeze frame. And then let's change the curvature to 100% and make a mask around the wheel. And then I'm going to scale this video clip up so it is nice and big. And then I'm going to click on the transform tool over here and line the middle of the wheel up with the center with the anchor point. So over here on the transform parameters, change the X and Y so that the center of the wheel is at the center of the anchor point and then i'm just going to press v to disable this for now and i need to make a tracking point on this video clip so i'm going to select it and go down to trackers and press the little plus sign and then this tracker window i'm going to make it into a circle and fit it around the wheel of the car and then just press analyze up here and this will track the wheel so now we have that tracked around the wheel i'm going to re-enable my freeze frame by pressing v and i'm going to right click and go to new compound clip and then i'm going to open up the transform tool go to the tracker and make sure the object track is selected and also the tracker source is the video clip underneath and then we can go to behavior pin to tracker and on the scale go to fill and then i'm going to go back into the settings go to behavior and go to offset from tracker just so that we can move it around and keyframe it if we need to. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning and just make sure the wheel lines up exactly with the wheel underneath. You may have to keyframe the scale at the end here, you may have to keyframe the scale so that the wheel is covering the wheel in the shot. Okay, so now if I go up to the rotation, I'm going to set a keyframe at the start of the freeze frame for the rotation and then go to the end and let's set this to minus 3000 or around about there. So now we have the wheel spinning like that. I'm going to add some motion blur to the wheel. I'm going to go to my titles tab up here and go down to motion blur. And I'm going to add some motion blur over the wheel. So now we have some nice motion blur on the wheel. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in some smoke effects and add those over the top of the wheel layer. So I got this smoke effect off of Artlist but I'm sure there's lots of smoke effects out there. If you did a quick search, I'm gonna to go to blend mode and go to add. And then I'm gonna to go to the transform tool and under the tracker settings, I'm going to select the original tracker that we made and use that tracker for the smoke. I'm going to use pin to tracker. And then I need to use the transform tool to rearrange the smoke so that it's coming from the wheel. And then we can add a shape mask to this. If I go up here to the shape mask transform settings and hit the keyframe button on this so that it starts around about there and then move a few frames along and just move the shape mask so that it reveals the smoke. So now we have some smoke effects added in. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in an adjustment layer. And these adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a free download, a free plugin you can get. And I'm gonna extend that over the top of all of my layers. And I'm gonna add a shake effect to this. So I'm gonna to go to my effects tab and go down to RN shake. And I'm going to use the rumble preset on this. These shake effects don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to them down in the description. Another shake effect you could add is the earthquake effect, which does come with Final Cut Pro. So now we have a shake effect to emphasize the wheel spin. If you wanted to retime this and add a speed ramp, we can select all of the layers. I'll leave the shake layer out for now. Right click and go to new compound clip. 
And then I'm going to add a speed ramp right here as the wheel spin effect happens. So I'm going to press shift and B, which will create this speed ramp here, which we can click and drag to make the start faster. And then I can add another one here at the end. So we get a speed ramp out. And then if I bring in another adjustment layer and add, go to my color board, go to the custom LUT effect, add this on, then I can add a quick color grade using one of the presets from my LUT pack. And then we can open up the color board, go to curves, and just add, just add a quick color grade over that it makes everything look a lot better. So now if I play that back, we have a very quick and rough wheel spin effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.